Today I am going to show you how to automate the build process of Android app using Circle CI. For automation, we will be creating a simple continuous integration and continuous deployment aka CI CD pipeline which will build the entire Android project and give you an output of Android APK and app bundle. We will be using Circle CI for creating CI CD pipeline, GitHub repository for storage of source code and Android Studio IDE. This will be a simple step by step guide easy to follow for anyone. So let's get started. For this video, I will be using my own Android open source app project Textmaster. This app is also available on Play Store if you are interested in AI based text recognition. Source code is available on GitHub, link is in the description. Now git clone the entire repository from GitHub and open it in Android Studio. Now we have our Android project ready to build. As you know, we are using Circle CI. We have to add a configuration file in root directory of project. Create a folder and name it .circleci. Under this folder, create a configuration file name config.yml. This is YAML file, so you have to use YAML language to write the code in it. Open that file. This file is essential for circleci because in this file, we will write all the commands to execute the build process in proper sequence. Now we will add config file in it for circleci to execute it. First line will always going to be version name. Then we will add job sections and under it write the name of job. Inside this job name build we will add docker configuration. Since we are using android we have docker image for android c img slash android followed by version name of it. Now we have to mention steps for execution of build command. Write the word steps and under it first is the checkout step which is required by default. First we have to execute project setup file. This will be a shell script file and for it we will add a run command. We will write the code in this file in later part of video. First we will change the file permission to executable and then second is to execute and run the project underscore setup.sh file. Next step is to start android gradle build process. For this just write the gradle command followed by task clean assemble and bundle. And don't forget to change permission of gradle file before starting build process. This will run android gradle build in our project. Once the gradle build is completed, you will have to get android apk and app bundle file out of circle ci machine as an artifact. Circle CI has this feature to pull out files and folders from machine after build is finished. In this way, we will get the finished output which is Android APK and app bundle file. It is very simple. Just write store underscore artifacts and mention the path of file or folder. In this way, we will pull out the APK and bundle folder after build is completed. Now our configuration file is ready for Circle CI. First it will run a shell script file for the project setup. Then we will run android gradle build and finally when build process is completed we will pull out the android apk and app bundle file which are stored in output folder. Now we will sync these changes with our git repository. Once you have all the changes saved to git repository next step is to create a circle ci account. Open the dashboard after signing in go to project option find your repository in the list and click on the setup my project button. If you have saved config.yml file in .circleci folder then it will automatically recognize the file. Click on project setup button. Now your git repository is connected to circle ci and it will automatically start build process. But the build process will fail because remember we have not synced our environment variable and other sensitive files such as android sign key, google services.json file and other api keys in our git repository for safety and security reason. But we need those files to build android app. So what we are going to do is we will dynamically create those files in our circle ci machine during the build process. And this is exactly what we are going to do next. Next step is to create base64 string of all sensitive files in the project so that we can use them as environment variable and generate those files during build process. First you have to locate all the sensitive files like .env file, google services.json, google credential json file and android sign key etc and convert them into base64 string. You can use any tool to convert this file into base64 string. Just make sure there is no space or gap in between words. 
it should be in one single line. For this video, I have copied all sensitive files from project folder into a separate folder and convert this file into base64 string which is saved in plain text file. Now open the circle CI dashboard, go to environment variable section under project settings. One by one, add all the base64 string along with the name of environment variable so that we can access them during build process. Now we have successfully set up our environment variable in circle CI project. Next step is to write the shell script code in project underscore setup dot sh file. Remember this file which we have mentioned in config dot yml to execute before starting android build process. Open the file if you are familiar with linux terminal command then this should be easy for you. We will use the environment variable name to get the base64 string and save it in a file with extension dot b64. Next we will decode that base64 string from the file and save it in an appropriate location as a new file with its actual file name. We will write the shell script code for each and every file to decode it. Here we have total 4 files. In your case, you might have more or less depending on your project. Save the file project underscore setup dot sh in root directory of project and sync all the file changes to github repository. As soon as your git repository sync is completed, you will notice that circle ci will automatically start the build process for your android project. Now sit back, relax and wait for a few minutes for build process to finish. Entire Android build process is running on cloud server of Circle CI. After completing the build process, you will see a green sign of status as success, which means you have successfully built the Android project and the output which is Android APK and App Bundle are stored in artifact for download. You can download Android APK and App Bundle file from the artifact tab. Now we have successfully created a simple CI CD pipeline where you can make changes to Android app source code and then upload it on git repository. Circle CI will automatically fetch the new changes and start the build process. Once the build process is completed, you will have Android app APK and app bundle of new app update ready to download and install on your phone. This is just basics but you can do more complicated automation tasks like testing of android app on virtual device and much more using ci cd pipeline. That's it for today. I hope you learned something new. If you like the video make sure you smash the like button and subscribe to my youtube channel for more awesome videos. Have a nice day and bye bye.